T. Tom Matraya. The state prison is going to have a good choir director for 10 years. Because Tory Lane's got sentenced to 10 years for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. And that's what his little ass get. Tory Lane's in jail. Tory Lane's in jail. What's going on, y'all? It's A.O. Chapman. I'm back, 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 I'm back again. And we are on day three. Day three of only eating at Costco. So today we have chicken tiki masala. I don't know if I pronounced it right. Y'all know. Y'all know I'll be messing words up. And then we have these um, little non dippers. And we have some chicken samosas. It's some rice in there. Y'all just can't see it because I like, I kind of like made it look pretty. Then I put all the stuff. Let me just say grace. Father God, I come to you today to ask you to watch over this food. Please, if you're nourishment to my body, please let me digest this food properly. You're in my prayer. Amen. Amen. I'm done. Amen. Let me go ahead and start. I'm going to start with this look. Now I'm right here because I already got some of the sauce on there. So we're going to put our rice with some of the sauce. Go ahead and get, get us a piece of chicken. We're gonna get a little bit more sauce. And then we're gonna load it up. Why would that fall like that while I'm doing a close up? I'm gonna I'm got distracted, it's good. Mm. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, all right. These are the samosas, y'all. Wait, I gotta get the good grip. These are the samosas. I'm not eating that. It tastes musty. Uh-uh. Nope. Hell no. Ugh. Y'all know how people smell when they be musty? That's what that tastes like. I know y'all know what people be smelling like when they be musty. I swear that tastes just like that. For real. Mm-mm. Tea time with dry. The state prison is gonna have a good choir director for 10 years. Cause Tory Lane's got sentenced to 10 years for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. And that's what his little ass get. Eh ha, eh ha. I'm glad this trial is over so y'all can shut up. And I only said that because a lot of y'all, y'all don't actually watch or 
First off, let me start off by saying that y'all don't pay attention in high school or college. Um, I saw way too many people that was like, oh my god, this is taking so long. Oh my god, when is it going to be over? No, 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 no. Couple things. First and foremost, damn near every pushback or postponing was on behalf of Tori's team. Not Megan. Take my socks off. Why would I take my socks off and put them up here on this table? Ghetto. Anyway. A lot of y'all watch Law and Order and think that a case is going to be solved in 48 hours. No. That's television. That's television. You have people that have been in jail for 5, 10 years plus <clears throat> still waiting on a trial date. These things are possible. No one know that. And I'm like, hey, judge, you work on Friday? All right, boom. Let's give him court on Friday. All right, judge, you work. Phoenix, you scared the hell out of me. Judge, you 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 work tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on you tomorrow. Be here at 8 o'clock. No. No. You have to give each side proper amount of time to... Get the argument together, get the witnesses together, all that. I really don't have to overnight because at the end of the day, somebody is possibly going to jail. And I remember very vividly, Tory Lane's making a post back in 2020, mocking the people that think he was going to jail. And now look at his ass in jail. He's been in there for, y'all know I'm not good at math, so I want to say almost a year, but it ain't been uh, kind of almost a year, but not really. Eight months, eight, eight months, yeah, because he went in right before Christmas, and here we are in August. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not sure. Now, based on the charges, he could have received up to 22 years. I want y'all to remember that. Based on the charges, he could have received up to 22 years. However, prosecution only asked that he serve 13, or he be sentenced to 13. While notating that based off of state laws, you know, if he do everything he's supposed to, you know, act accordingly, which we see that he can't, then he would only be, um, he has the possibility of only serving 85% of his term. So he got 10 years, 85%, that's eight and a half years. Boom. Hope he writes some music while he in there. He's going to need something to do. Poor little leprechaun, I don't give a shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll be, for, I'll be forgetting. I'm just getting out of the press over here. Okay. Now, let me tell you about Tory Lane's lawyers because clearly they're a little bit more idiotic than he is. Or they're just about the same idiotic. Let me, um, let me take my, my treats so I can get ready to have me a good night. But his, his lawyers are, and you know what, actually, you know what, let me, let me say this. They're not idiotic. They're smart. They're smart as hell. Because you know what they was doing? When they join this case, I genuinely don't believe that they thought they could do anything different. I don't. A lot of lawyers, you see, y'all, a lot of lawyers get on cases for this. It's not about winning or losing. 
It's about a check. Now I say that because his lawyers they asked for probation while acknowledging that legally he is ineligible for probation. Huh? Let me say that again. The next is coming straight from a source. All right, a reporter who was in the the courtroom. His lawyers asked for probation while acknowledging that legally he cannot receive probation. Make that make sense. <coughs> and I refuse to believe any lawyer is that damn dumb. However, lawyers, what they call them, lawyers, lawyers, because they lie. They lie. I didn't even feel like they, they sold him a dream to get that money. To get that money. Ooh. Ooh, that's my heart. Because he has to pay them. Win or lose. Well, hell, he already lost his wrong business. But. And now this part, <laughs> I guess Tory Lanez thought he was OJ or something. Tory Lanez maintains his innocence, but says, if I did do it, it's because of traumatic childhood experiences and alcoholism. I need rehab, not prison. If I did do it, I did it though. <laughs> I didn't do it. But if I did do it, it's because of alcohol and childhood trauma. But I didn't do it though. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe it's me. Oh. No problem. What? How can you say I didn't do this? But if I did do it, it was because of. So you give a reasoning on why you did something, but allegedly you didn't do it. I don't know. I don't know, little leprechaun. Sounds like you wanted to admit it. Okay, so now. Let's go to what the DA and what the judge had to say. Because they weren't buying it. So the DA, he reiterated that at the time, Tory Lanez was almost 29. Almost 29. Any of his, you know, any police reports, anything that was ever filed against him or including him, <coughs> excuse me, never included alcohol problems. Excuse me. So they kind of shut that down instantly. Because if alcohol, if alcoholism caused you to shoot someone, shoot this girl, nine times out of ten, that wouldn't be your first time. I feel good now. And then they say, Video of him when he was arrested shows him completely walking without stumbling, which reiterates the fact that he wasn't blacked out drunk. 
And then they they talk about him trying to bribe Kelsey and Megan. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that somebody was that was as drunk as he claims that he probably was. He wouldn't have been in the right mindset to do something like that. Or, you know, to, yeah, to do something like that, I guess. And now the judge, after going through all his doctor's reports, etc., the judge says, while shooting, I mean, while the shooting, definitely, you know, alcohol was involved because it was. We, we're grown. We're grown. Um, neither of them were driving. The judge says there's no evidence of Tory Lanez being an alcoholic. You should have had your team do a little bit better on the back end. Okay. 76 letters were sent in on behalf of Tory Lanez. To tell the judge and the jury and everybody else, you know, what type of person he is. We know what type of person he is. Who's not sister with Leprechaun? I just catch myself to another world. He's a woman shooter. What else do these now? And now among these letters was one written by Iggy Azalea. Showtime. Eggie, let me tell you something. It's so ironic that Iggy Azalea was sending a letter in support of Tory Lanez and not supporting a black woman when all she does is imitate a black woman. You can support that black D that you love, but you can't support a black woman that clearly you love. Because you want to, your whole demeanor is that of what a black woman acts like. Or what you assume they act like. What you think they talk like. What you think they rap about. That was just so crazy to me. And actually, you know what, while I'm at it, because I had almost forgot. Miss Thing. I was one of your very few fans. Well, let me let me clarify that. I wasn't a fan of you. Let me let me choose my words wisely. Wasn't a fan. I did like some of your music. Um, but with that being said, you can go to hell. Delete, delete, and delete. Bye bye. Becky with no good hair. Mind your business. And she gets on Twitter and says that she didn't know, which I think is a crock of you know what. She says that she didn't know that the letter was going to be made public. She was just asked to write a letter about his character. And then she contradicted herself. Hold on, let me try to pull it up here because I'm going to try to hear how dumb as hell she sounded. Hold on. Mm -hmm. 
So it says, I was asked to write about my genuine experience and the type of punishment I think he deserves. I am not in support of throwing away anyone's life if we can give reasonable punishment that are rehabilitative instead. I support prison reform. Then she goes on to say, yes, he should be held accountable. No, the charges don't warrant five plus in prison. You don't support anyone, but it sounds like you're supporting. You don't know what you're trying to say. Twig, Twiggy, Iggy, Liggy. I almost said Niggy, but you ain't one of them. No matter how much you think you are, you ain't one. Yeah. She pissed me off. She pissed me off. She actually pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie, she pissed me off. Good. So, she go to hell. She definitely go to hell. With that birthmark on her face looking like a turd. Um. <laughs> Another person that wrote a letter, you guys, was Tory Lane's son. Now, y'all know I'm not gonna, you know, bash the child or anything like that, but I'm not gonna do that. But I will say though, is him trying to use sympathy with his kid. Cornball, aha, it didn't work. Uh -huh. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. And y'all know, if y'all have been following me, y'all know I've been following you because this is strong. Stop licking me. And I supported Meg from the very beginning. Nope. Unlike a lot of y'all. But was it still a denial? Cry me a river, build a bridge and get over it, then burn that mother down. I don't care. I'm happy he's in jail. Wish it could have been longer. But at the end of the day, 10 years will work for me. Because 10 years from now, <laughs> music will be so different. And when he try to put that meat scalp, y'all gonna be like, excuse me, what's this? What's this? I hope he's in there having fun with quarantine radio. Cause hell, he in prison. He can't do nothing but quarantine. <laughs> oh, I'm having a field day, you guys. I'm about to y'all know my adult drinks, I mean my adult drinks, my adult treats are about to kick in um, in about 30 minutes. I'm going to have me an adult beverage. And I've been playing Megan on repeat ever since the this sentencing was announced. I've been playing Megan on repeat. I'm finna be in the shower using my Meganese. And I'm a savage. Mm, classy, bougie, right, yeah. Protect black women. Except for Carly Russell, she's a liar. Anyway, I'm about to go to town out. Y'all already know what to do. If you have not subscribed to my channel, it's the bell right there. Hit the bell right there. So you can notify each and every time I drop a new video. But if not, leave from the second with video drive, jump into the description box. Scroll down at the bottom. Right there, you are going to see my social media. My Instagram, my threads, my TikTok, my Twitter. I think it's called X now, but whatever. My Facebook, my Snap to the chat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, add me, follow me, leave me a comment, leave me a comment, leave me a comment, do whatever, let me know, it's like, what's going on, 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 something, other than that, it's been real, Ayo hey, Travis, out, Tory Lanez in jail, Tory Lanez in jail, Tory Lanez in jail, 
Turlings and Jam. Turlings and Jam. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all.